right so now let's check the what other controllers we have uh, if we have seen while each and there is something called interleave controller okay so if you use this controller I don't know why every time I am getting it on the bottom <laughs> okay change controller interleave controller right so if you use this controller on first run it will execute reservation on the next run it executes cruise okay it does it alternatively interleave controller does execution alternately if there are totally four requests under this block if you run it 10 times for first run it picks the first block and second run it picks the second block okay basically if you observe here we are simulating the real time okay and uh, all the users thousand users will not access the credit card payment link at the same time some may see their mini statement in the bank account or some may see the reward section some may see the other pages right basically they will be on our web page but people will be on different links so this kind of testing is you know kind of smoke testing we are clicking on all the links but in alternative way once we are trying out the reservation once we are trying out the cruise if you want to try it in alternative way okay rather than putting load on only one request all the time if you want to uh, check with multiple requests randomly sorry alternatively then you have to go with interleave controller okay now this thread group i'll run for 10 users and yeah so with this interleave controller i'll log out and now you check that okay so oh what happening home page login where is home page okay something wrong here your results tree what happening home login where is a, a reservation why this is executing this many times what did we provide okay oh so number of threads is one only if you give 10 threads 10 threads started execution at a time and all started with home page let's okay to explain you this situation i should not go with threads sorry i'll go with loop count I'll loop 10 times and you see now. Home page, login, and this time, if you go inside it, it picked Mercury reservation for first time. Second time, it picked Mercury cruise. Third time again, it picked reservation, but there is no cruise in this loop. And fourth time, it selected cruise. Okay, alternatively, it's executing these two requests. Why? Because these two are inside the interleave controller, basically interleave controller block executes the things alternatively. If there are 10 requests on each row, it re executes one. Okay. Next two, three. Okay, it continues. Okay, you just don't assume that why, where actually we required this. All these are real time scenarios. Okay, you might be asked to simulate the real time scenarios. Uh, for example, at 10 o'clock, if the people will come onto their desk okay so they are into e-commerce site one section is for gents one section is for ladies where they can buy their stuff so one section is for general accessories okay you can't go and put a load on general accessories all the time accessories and gadgets because some might go for menswear some may go for women's wear okay so basically you are splitting so Ultimately, load is on your website, but the load is splitting between the requests. Okay, so that's the real time simulation. There is no point of view on putting load on one request all the time and put, pulling out the results. You need to simulate those, right? So, in these situations, the controller will come out very handy to us to make sure the interleave controllers and while loop executing many times, if loop and loop controller. Okay. So this will come to a handy or really. So that's it about interview which executes alternatively. And next controller we have to discuss here is random controller or random order. Just this basic difference. So random controller is nothing but it executes randomly. 
now interleave executes alternatively first time one second time two third time three but random is anything anything it can pick it can pick the first one four times and the, the next two three times second one thereafter first immediately so the name itself says it's a random okay so we cannot predict what it picks actually for us right so that's what the random controller says you can if you want uh, to rigorous testing on your application pick up random controller and leave it jmeter will take care of executing those okay you need not a uh, right specifically to execute this and that it randomly picks and executes every time give the loop thousand times and just go and get cup coffee and then verify random picks thousand times each request any request from it and it gives you your results because this situation in a situ uh, you can predict that you don't know what user does at what time okay you just give random and see so all these are you know real time scenarios uh, simulating okay so if you want to see the result same thing you can see we don't know what executes sometimes it might pick both okay so it here it picked only crews it again picked only crews this is a perfect example right so that's it so it keep on doing that so it randomly executes whatever now this time it picked reservation see after four times it went for reservation okay so that's it about okay let me stop okay so one more controller so these are all what i am discussing are the most important controllers where you will use and recording controller is nothing but okay if you go to your workbench add uh, http uh, test script recorder right yep test script recorder here target controller it says use recording controller right but every time uh, we select okay group we select it from http test recorder only we select this option all the time okay if you use specifically jmeter guys has designed a controller name called recording controller so if you select that option from here all the time whenever you record it will see where the recording controller is defined and the request will go into that block okay so it's straightforward right if you use recording controller and define somewhere it so whenever you record in the future all the uh, your request will fall into that block right so that's about recording controller and there is one more controller called runtime controller okay so okay sorry again the same issue i did it down so this change controller logic controller runtime controller cool so this controller says so how many seconds you want to rigorously run these two requests okay it's not a loop we used loop and while of loop because it basically based on condition it goes inside the loop okay until unless it is true those will execute okay but we don't have any conditions and we don't have any if loop conditions and we want both to execute uh, to a limited amount of time so your requirement is run these two for uh, 45 seconds okay so in real time it may be 4500 seconds but now to show you in the lecture i am just putting 45 so run these two for 45 seconds okay if you provide 45 here and run this home it will log in thereafter for 45 seconds rigorously these two will execute and once the 45 seconds is done it will come out of block and sign off okay that's the meaning of this runtime controller so we are uh, deciding the execution based upon the runtime seconds okay so it will keep on executing till 45 seconds so once the 45 seconds is done and it will go for sign off so that's all a pretty much about controllers there is one more controller important which is transaction controller i'll talk that in the next lecture uh, okay so these all are the okay the the, the most what i discussed is uh, the very important which we face in uh, regular practice with jmeter 
even remaining all are easy for each loop uh, you can go through uh, from the jmeter documentation or you can google it but you will not feel it really necessary okay so i am just uh, letting you know what all the important controllers we use i think it's time to sign off maybe oh it will keep on running by asked for 10 times right let's stop it if you give for one time and see exactly it will run for 45 seconds okay so that's it about the controllers there is one more left called transaction which i'll be teaching in the next lecture thank you